This video demonstrates how to mount and set up the online data validator on your thermal printer. First, unpack the ODV unit. Before installing, your printer should be powered off and disconnected from the AC power source. Attach the ODV bracket to the printer using the four hex screws. Insert and hand tighten the screws. Next, choose the pair of holes in the mounting bracket based on your printer width, four, six, or eight inch to connect the validator. Attach the validator to the bracket using the provided two Phillips head screws. Once the validator is mounted to the printer, connect the validator's power and data cable. It is important to secure the cable to the mounting bracket using the supplied tie wraps and push any excess slack on the cable through the grommets. Remove the blue media width guide from the media damper and replace it with the black extended media width guide. Once the validator is mounted and connected, plug in the power cord and turn the printer on. After the printer has finished powering up, proceed to beam alignment. If the red validator's beam is not visible after the printer has finished powering up, press the reset button on the validator for at least two seconds to turn the beam on. Confirm beam alignment by moving the validator bracket forward or back until the beam is aligned with the notches on the tear bar or cutter. Then tighten only the top front screws on the validator's bracket. If the beam is not completely horizontal, proceed to install the adjustment screw on one of the threaded slots on the validator's bracket. It may be necessary to loosen the Phillips head screws holding the validator to the bracket. Make sure that there is a beam at least a half an inch or more beyond the edge of the media. Use the beam shift setting under the validator's menu to shift beams left or right until the desired beam placement is reached. After all adjustments are made, you're ready to test and print using your online data validator. A barcode demo can be done to test the validator, confirming that the read light on the validator turns on as the beam moves over the barcodes and successfully reads each. You can also test the case where the validator detects a missing or damaged barcode by covering the beam during printing and observing the error action taken based on the validator's error action setting. In this case, the validator's action is set so bad labels are overstruck and reprinted. This guarantees barcode readability on all labels. Here are some hints to make sure that your setup is performing at its best. Periodically clean the lens on the validator with household glass cleaner and a lint-free cloth to remove dirt or smudging from the glass that could lead to the distorting the barcode images during scanning. For your printed labels, adjust print intensity just enough to make sure there are no voids in the barcode during printing. Always maintain an adequate quiet zone. This is the white space to the left and right of the barcode. About a half an inch is desirable. For additional T8000 product information, visit Printronics.com.